So here we are at the top of the Great North Road, just about to go on the A1. We've got uh, that pathetic, I, I don't even know what you can call them without being offensive. You know, but, you know, he's, uh, he's the driver. Now let's compare these two drivers. We've got a, an X10 in front and we've got this as the X15. This is a newer bus capable of uh, doing the speed limit. This bus driver is already running 16 minutes late, which is no surprise there, like. It's, uh, should be getting up the speed because you know, the rest of the A1 traffic is doing 60, 70 mile an hour. And this is one of the reasons why uh, the Fumbia police were investigating Arriva buses for being a nuisance, for being a danger to other road users because the uh, the speed difference, you know, the were, there were Arriva buses were being a hazard to other road users. So we're on the A1, national speed limit, as you can see. The bus in front is actually uh, pulling away. We are doing 46 miles an hour, still climbing. 48. Should be doing 60. Oh, there comes the other one. Look, there's the X22 overtaking one. That's the same sort of bus as this. How pathetic that this uh, this bus driver there, you see it? Uh, them two there pulling away from us. I think, I think we've had a, a lot of uh, piss heads on board. So we're doing 52 in a 60. So when can Arriva you know, do the right thing? Do the right thing by the passengers and get rid of this bus driver. Replace them. That's what any normal company would do. They would replace someone who's not good at their job. So, as customers, as passengers, why are we subjected to this pathetic individual and uh, who's clearly doing it as revenge, as a petty revenge to the uh, Arriva company? Arriva apparently gave him a good hiding. <coughs> I think it actually made the news, it actually made the local newspaper how Arriva left school children stranded in Anik bus station because the driver left early. And I'm gonna put money on it that this is that driver and ever since he got given a good bollocking by Arriva, he has deliberately ran late. He, he, he's getting some sort of pleasure out of uh, running late. It's like, it's like his pathetic revenge on the company that employs him. And every bus runs late. 16 minutes late at uh, Regent Centre. I guarantee you by the time we get to Anik, if he takes this bus through to Anik, you'd be looking at half an hour late. Because Arriva just will not do the correct thing for the passengers by getting rid of this bus driver.